On me, Conway. So, what'd you think? Not bad, not bad at all. All <laughs> right. Ah, here comes the cavalry. Shit, looks like I missed one. Tell you what, you go get it working, I'll get things set up here. Copy. American, respond, over. I'm sorry, I thought I told you to go bother someone else. You know, I don't get annoyed easily. Yeah, right. That should do it. Copy. All right, everyone, gather around. See the targets? Really? Sorry, they're all we've got on hand. First things first. I'm Staff Sergeant Adams. This is Sergeant Conway. We'll be your cabin crew for today. Cabin crew? Since I'm fairly confident we all know why we're here, I'll skip the usual brief. So, over to you, Sergeant. When you're ready, put some rounds downrange. You'll notice that the sergeant took a knee before firing, which creates a more stable firing position. Try to do this as much as possible. If he'd remained standing, he'd have had a tougher time compensating for recoil. It's not impossible, but it's also not ideal. Going prone offers the best stationary shooting posture with the least recoil and smallest profile. However, be careful of grass and other obstacles obstructing your view. Engaging targets at greater distances is a bit more complicated. Collimator sights, like the sergeant here is using, are not well suited to the task. Sergeant, go ahead and grab the RCO from the crate. From now on, I'll be giving directions to the sergeant exclusively in compass bearings, so please pay attention. I'll call out specific targets for the sergeant to engage. It's up to him to pick them out and score a hit. Are you ready, sergeant? As I'll ever be. All right, first target. Helicopters. Well, speaking of CSAT. Pay attention, children. 300 meters, bearing 330. Four hundred meters, bearing three zero seven. Remember, control your breathing. Aim for clean, focused shots. One hundred meters, bearing two nine or zero. Great, let's move on. While we're on the subject, you're going to find it much harder to control your breathing on the battlefield. Sergeant... Don't I'm... even say it. Your adoring public awaits. God damn it. What is the sergeant doing, I hear you ask? Well, in all honesty, I have no idea. Although I think we can all agree, it's quite a sight to behold. Fuck you, Staff Sergeant. However, his completely spontaneous and totally unplanned marathon conveniently brings us to our next lesson. Fatigue. It can and it will be your worst nightmare in the field, should you fail to regulate it effectively. Push yourself too hard and you'll find yourself unable to hit shit. 
even when the situation requires otherwise. And hell, if that's not enough for you, you'll just grow to hate the sound of your own wheezing. The floor is all yours, Sergeant. See? Now the Sergeant has to battle himself as he fires. Again, you need to control your stamina. If you don't, you'll have a hard time hitting anything at all. That'll do, Sergeant. That'll do. American, please, I need to speak with you. There has been an incident. Over. What do you mean, incident? Send us your grid. Over. We... cannot do that. Say again. Why not? Over. We do not have a map. GPS? Um... negative. Copy. Wait one. It's always something with these people. All right, change of plans. Everyone, gather around the sergeant. Come on, don't be shy now. We're gonna learn something useful. Bring up your map, Conway. Okay, here's the deal. Since your people are completely incapable of intelligent thought, it has fallen upon us to rescue them from certain doom. Before we begin, Sergeant, if you'd be so kind, stick a marker on our location, 066159er. For those just tuning in, six-figure grids are a crucial navigational tool. Coordinates are read from the bottom first, followed by the ones that run up the side. We're gonna attempt to triangulate their position. However, before we get onto that... You guys still there? Yes. We, we need, need some, some landmarks, landmarks to go off here. here. Do you, you have, have anything, anything we could use? use? Did, Did you spot, spot anything recognizable en route to your location? Over. Well, we know that we are west of Sirta. We drove through it. Okay, that's one. Hold on. All right, Sergeant, stick a marker on Sirta. It should be about three clicks to the northeast. Clicks? Three kilometers, in other words. Now, let's draw a line going west from Sirta. Can you guys give us any other landmarks? There is a hill nearby. It has a small chapel on top of it. It is at bearing... 130 from our position. Over. Copy. Wait one. That's probably somewhere southwest of Sirta itself. Think you can locate it, Sergeant? All right, the bearing they gave us was 130. However, that's from them to the chapel. We want to work out the bearing from the chapel to their position. So let's do a 180. That makes it 310 from the chapel itself. You'll notice the lines intersect. That, in a nutshell, is all we're looking for. It tells us that, if the information they provided is accurate, they must be somewhere near there. However, the intersect won't always be exact. Use common sense to enhance your accuracy, or try to obtain further information. Over to you, Sergeant. Stick a marker on their position. Yep, that looks about right. American, what is your status? We've, We've got, got your grid, grid 075183. We're on our way. Stay put. Out. Okay, we're gonna go find your friends. Keep yourselves busy while we're gone. The rest of you, load up. Conway, you're driving.
Take the left up ahead. What the hell happened here? We were on patrol. We were attacked. Patrol, huh? Yes. And these people? They attacked you? Yes. Was I unclear? You ever heard of excessive force? Oh, Sergeant. Staff Sergeant, they're just civilians. Did you sweep the buildings? And what's the deal with that man over there? Yes, we did. They are clean. You searched all of them? Including the ones down there? No, only these ones. And that man? Do you have medical support inbound? Um, no. Are you kidding me? Sergeant, search those buildings down there. The rest of you, set up a perimeter. And you, call for a goddamn medevac. Now!
Small one's clear. Continuing the search. Adams, I've got a weapon stash here. Small arms and explosives. Definitely gorilla. Over. You see? They were a threat. Yeah, and I'm sure they just attacked you for no reason. Copy, Sergeant. Form on me! They put it upstairs in this thing. Having trouble there, Staff Sergeant? No, sir. Come on. Any word from the MOD sit down, sir? Negative. Nothing from the AAF or the guerrillas. In fact, the whole thing's gone dark. You're kidding me. Nope. Figure that missing greenback convoy has something to do with it? Why do you think the boys are here? There's your ride. You two get going. Find us that convoy, Staff Sergeant. Copy. Good. I'll try to hunt a couple things here. Let's see.
the others. In position, Staff Sergeant. Copy. What do you see? Convoy's been hit hard. No movement as far as I can tell. But, to be honest, there's a lot of trees. Over. Understood. Maintain overwatch. We're moving up. Let's go, Conway. Whoa! Dead ahead, Sergeant. Hold fire! We're friendly! Please tell me you two have this. Copy. We're on them. Son, can you hear me? He's non-responsive. He's holding, but not for long. We need medical here now. Broadway, do you read? Over. Confirmed, 1-1. One, one. Send traffic. Over. We've, We've got, got wounded at the convoy. One greenback, unresponsive, possibly in shock. It doesn't look good, but one, two actuals got him stabilized. Over. Copy. Relaying to Phalanx. Medical is inbound with reinforcements. Try to keep them stable until they arrive. Over. We'll try, Broadway. One, one out. All right, hold this perimeter. I'm not in the mood for any more surprises.
Hey, what are you doing? Hey, asshole, I'm talking to you. This is none of your business, American. Buddy, I'm warning you. You pick this fight, and you'll lose. Is there a problem here, Sergeant? What's the problem? Your men are abusing these prisoners. What my men do is my concern, and mine alone, Sergeant. The hell it is, Corporal. Arrest them. Don't you take another step. You're out of line, American. Broadway, Alpha 1-2, actual. Message over. 1-2, Broadway. Receiving. Send it. Over. I've got greenbacks abusing FIA prisoners at the MOD, sir. Please advise. Over. Copy. Wait one. One, two, stand down. I'll copy. What? Sir, if I may... Negative, one, two. You are to stand down. That's an order. Confirm. Over. Solid copy, sir. Out. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Sergeant. Just so you fucking know, I'm about to shoot something. Hearts and minds, Sergeant. Hearts and minds. What the fuck was that? Just the chain of command at its finest. Who was that asshole? Call sign Phalanx, Colonel Akinteros. <laughs> you just bashed horns with the AAF's top brass. That's their top brass? Now I know why they're so fucked up. I can't believe McKinnon shut us down like that. Yeah, well, orders are orders. Come on, let's get out of here.